Hello, room service? Ah, uh, yes, hello. Is that room service? Yeah, this is uh, Jerry, sir. How can I help you? Hi, Jerry. Uh, it's Craig Ferguson in the basement. Ah, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, the fire's uh, a little hot. It's burning my testicles. Oh, dear, sir. <laughs> and also, uh, my robot seems to be not working tonight. Well, what seems to be the uh, problem? Sir? Well, he's just kind of staring at me blankly. <laughs> it's almost like he uh, hasn't heard anything interesting from me. I think he, uh, I think he looks like that uh, most of the time, sir. Implying I don't see anything interesting, Jerry? No, I'm not sure. The robot uh, told me once uh, or during a game of cards. <laughs> you never told me you knew Jerry from room service? Oh, you, you're talking to Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a great idea, Jeff. Yeah. Why don't you talk to Jerry? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'd lo love to. Okay. Hey, Jerry. How's it going, man? Uh, pretty good, Jeff. Uh, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, man. I didn't, I didn't know you said the thing about me being bored. Ah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to bring that up. Can I get you anything uh, right now? Uh, no, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. Hey, Jerry. Yeah? Knock it off, man. <laughs> You're kind of showing off a little bit. Just talking to my friend, man. Just talking to my friend. Hey, uh, hold on. You want to talk to the horse? Sure, I'd love to. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello? Perhaps he could talk to you in the voice of Morgan Freeman in his mind. <laughs> Shut yeah, up! Yeah, I was, I was getting to that, sir. Uh, hello? Uh, yes, uh, this is Secretariat. How can I help you? Uh, did you, uh, did you get that bag of uh, cocaine I gave you? Yes, sir. yes, I did, and it's working just fine. <laughs> oh. Sir! Yeah. yeah. I'm still here, sir. All right. All right. Um, tonight's show will be based entirely on a true story. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. It's fine. No, that was really good. Please let your applause die away quite naturally as if you meant it. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, all right, that's enough. We're done. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> well, you are not the boss of me. Actually, I suppose they are the boss of me, aren't they? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Are you the boss of me? Hell no. <laughs> you are when we do role-playing games. I love your deadpan style. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, man. I'm going to try that. See, it doesn't work when I do it. You do it. It's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. You, do, you do it. That's pretty good, too. I can't do it. Michael, you do it. Ah, uh, Jeff, you're still the best. He's always making that face. Though. Yeah, yeah. You know why he makes that face? Why is that? Because he's a racist. He's a that's racist. why. <laughs> yeah. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great day for America. Everybody. It is, though, but it is a 
It's also a very sad day. America's first family, Chris and Bruce Jenner, have separated. Uh, yes, I know, you may well all you patronizing bastards, but they, in their defense, they had to separate. Uh, they, it was in the script. But uh, reports say that Bruce did not say. <laughs> Reports say that Bruce did not shed a single tear because, of course, he can't. <laughs> I'm crying! I'm crying! I'm crying, but it's coming out of my neck. <laughs> Gosh darn it, if two shameless publicity whores can't make it work, what hope do the rest of us have in this crazy world? <laughs> Apparently, Bruce wanted to distance himself from the Kardashian name, but having a failed marriage makes you more of a Kardashian. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, man. <laughs> That's cold, yeah, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the couple has asked for privacy in this trying time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. They'll discuss it on the E's two-hour special. Bruce and Chris talk about their split. <laughs> As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Here in Los Angeles, something very frightening happened to us all today. Put us on high alert. It rained a little bit. <laughs> It did, it, it rained a little bit, it rained a little bit. Do we have a graphic for that? Yeah! Stormwatch! 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 <laughs> I should find that yellow hat. I haven't worn it since I got that photograph taken. <laughs> it was very wet today in Los Angeles. How? How wet was it, Jeff? The women in Beverly Hills were getting boob jobs just to stay afloat. Okay. Uh... Mm. Mm. It was so wet, Chris and Bruce Jenner are battling for custody of the umbrella. Yeah. It was so wet, Miley Cyrus stuck her tongue out and almost drowned. <laughs> it was so wet, Justin Bieber could just reach out of the window to fill up his bong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so wet, Nicole Kidman had to use her forehead wipers. It was so wet, it was so wet, NBC replaced Jay Leno with a guppy! Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? The hell? Wait, you, you oot me on that? The hell, man. It was so wet, uh, Lamar Odom found rust on his crack pipe. Oh! Uh, You split the room. You got some oars and you got yeah. some yeah. yeah. <laughs> the hell am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, of course, it is the ninth. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying to keep it together here, man. It was, it was the ninth day of the government shutdown. There's no end in sight. Do we have a graphic for day nine? Do we? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that of course was the ninth president of the United States, William Henry Harrison. It's the ninth day of the shutdown. Ninth, that's our thing we're doing. <laughs> and we made him say "achu" because he was president for 30 days, then he died of pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> it's terribly sad. <laughs> no, he, it, no, it was. It's terrible. He's he's dead. <laughs> Jeff, how'd you feel? See, I mean, what happens is he, he, he got pneumonia, he caught pneumonia at his own inauguration, which is terrible. That would be like me losing interest in this show about five minutes in. <laughs> nah, no, no government shutdown can dampen my enthusiasm this week, because this week is the greatest week of all. It's Nobel Prize Week! <laughs> We don't know what the hell we're clapping for. <laughs> Nobel Prizes are given out every day this week. Then, I think on Friday, Simon Cowell sends one of the winners to Hollywood. <laughs> you call that Newtonian physics? I call it rubbish. <laughs> I'm having a baby I didn't plan. <laughs> That's me doing Simon Yeah, no, it's good, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, today was the Nobel Prize for chemistry. Craig, why is chemistry important? I'll tell you why. Without chemistry, we wouldn't have crystal meth. And without crystal meth, there'd be nobody watching this show. So chemistry is important. <laughs> Today's... Thank you.
<laughs> what the hell? If you're going to clap along it, no. I'm going to do it too. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, today's Nobel Prize was given to three chemists. One of them was uh, Dr. Ari Warshall, who lives right here in L.A. He's the one with the suntan and the fake boobies. So congratulations, <laughs> Dr. Warshall, or as most people from L.A. would say, Bien trabajo! Uh, I know, man. What? Bien trabajo. Yeah, that's yeah. what you said. Yeah, good work. Yeah, good, good work. Man. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah. Uh, when Dr. Warshall got to work this morning, he went nuts. He shoved a pen right into his lab pocket. He's like, screw the pocket protector. Today I won the Nobel Prize, bitch. <laughs> now, that's how he talks as well, yeah, right, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Today, Dr. Marshall teaches, uh, uh, he, he teaches at USC, and all day long he was teased by his co-workers. So today, I guess you could call him a ribbed Trojan. <laughs> yeah! 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 I wish I'd thought of one of those! <laughs> anyway, one of the three winning chemists is from Austria, which allows us to play my favorite game, Jeff, as you know. Guess who's yeah. Austrian? Guess who's Austrian? Let's play! <laughs> It's kind of easy, wasn't it, that one? Yeah. Yeah. Guy with the little silver beard. <laughs> you're either Austrian or you're a professor at Hogwarts. Right, yeah, right. That's it, I'm done. That's it? Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> my tie a bit long tonight? It seems to be resting just in the top of my pubic area. <laughs> I don't want to get snagged in anything down there. No. You got, you got a lot going on down there? Do you? No, actually, no, I favor, uh, well, never mind. That's... <laughs> <laughs> do you know what we should do? Do you remember we used to put scary music on Secretariat when he was beat? Let's do that again. Man, it's all right. It's a ball. It'll roll. Don't worry about it. If I worried about all the balls behind this deck, we'd never... <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. yeah. You all right, man? I'm good, man. Feeling good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You were, you were a bit stoic during the monologue. Stoic? Yeah, stoic. You were like... <laughs> That's how most of the audience looked as well, I think. Yeah, I did notice that, too. Stoic. Stoic. They were stoic. Yeah, they were putting up with me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, <whoa>, what's that? <laughs> yes, hello? Uh, yes, sir, it's uh, Jerry from Room Service. What do you want, Jerry? I'm busy. Uh, just, uh, sorry, sir, just checking in, see how the show's going for you. Uh, okay. Audience uh, kind of stoic? It's kind of stoic, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What, what's the deal with that? Well, we can, uh, we can send some stuff down if you want, sir, to get them all livened up. What kind of stuff are we talking? Well, I, got a, I got a guy who knows a guy and gets you some is stuff. It that, is it that guy with the, uh, with the orange uh, suit? That's the guy, sir. The clown? Uh-huh. Uh... So you... <laughs> you have a clown? Yes, I do, sir. <laughs> So, if I wanted maybe a little uh, seltzer water, you could get that for me? Certainly get that for you. Spray that right in your face, sir, whatever you want. <laughs> well, it's, it's always nice to talk to you, Jerry. Thanks. All right. Thanks for calling the show. Always a pleasure, sir. All right. Still here, sir. All right. <laughs> Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who makes jokes about chemistry periodically. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Play the Antonio in 
Island, Staten Island, New York. You ever been to Staten oh, Island? Oh, yeah, beautiful place. What do you like the most about Staten Island? Oh, the, the people. <laughs> what do you call Staten Islanders? What, what do you call them, Staten Islanders? Staten Is, that what you call them? Is that what you call them? Staten, Staten Island Ferry? I don't know. I... <laughs> Uh, anyway, this uh, Antonio says, uh, Craig, I can't keep things straight. How many rings of the bell does it uh, means Dracula talk? Well, one ring. German. <laughs> yeah. It seems like the audience is now in yeah. tune with us. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it again and see if everybody knows. If you know, join in, audience. One ring. German. Two rings. Still German. German. Three rings. Dracula. Dracula. Four rings. Italian, Italian Bill Clinton. Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> What's the comment go? <laughs> Five rings. Room service. <laughs> Hello? Hi, sir. It's uh, Jerry. Sorry about that. Jerry, what's going on, man? Yeah, I'm just, trying to uh, do the show. I know. I just have a, a chemistry joke I'd like to share with you. Oh, a chemistry joke. Just yeah. very quickly, sir. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, photon walks into a hotel. Mm -hmm. The bellboy asks the photon if he could carry his bags for him. Yes. Photon says, no thanks. I carry light. <laughs> hold, hold on a sec. Hold on a second, will you, Jerry? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jerry, uh, about that uh, that thing you were going to get for me, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah, we got it, sir. Everything's handled. <laughs> See uh, your guy, uh, the the clown? Clown, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, orange. Uh, if, uh, sir. Yeah. Does he, uh, does he have any big shoes? <laughs> Very large shoes, sir, of uh, varying sizes, whatever you'd like. Uh, just large, large shoes. <laughs> uh, uh, just be a minute. And then, uh, <laughs> like, if you wanted to check out what was on Fallon or something, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. It'll be, it'll be awesome. Yeah. Large shoes. Uh, large shoes, yeah. water, got it, sir. Yeah, yeah. And maybe some of that, uh, that sweet uh, stuff you got me last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can see you behind the desk, sir. I don't know why you're... Really? Where, where, where are you? I'm in the bathroom, sir. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. <laughs> All right, bye, sir. All right. I'm, I'm still here, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, this is from uh, David in Milwaukee. You ever been in Milwaukee? Yeah, Milwaukee, oh, yeah. Yeah, what a place. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite part? Oh, the, the middle. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> hi, Craig and Jeff. Can you ask Jeff to speak up? I don't hear as well as I used to. Can you speak up, Jeff? Yeah, all right. No problem. Hey, all right, man. Hey, how's it going? Hey! <laughs> this is from uh, Dez, who's visiting L.A. from Topeka. Oh. That, that's in Kansas. Topeka, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he says, hey, Craig. Would your room service guy deliver a, to a guy in a hotel near LAX? Oh, I'm not talking to him again. Yeah, no, no he's... <laughs> Do you think he would? You know him. I'm sure he would. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> this is from Alex in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Oh, the oh, Canadians, yeah. they know how to live. They like to party. They go crazy with their... <laughs> uh, hey, Craig, any advice for, for dealing with a girl who's upset with me even though I didn't do anything wrong? <laughs> Well, you, for start, you can stop being defensive. <laughs> and finally, this is from Alan in, uh, in I can never remember if it's Racine or Racine in, uh, in Wisconsin. Ray, Racine? Racine? Ray, or Ray, Racine. Or Racine. Racine. It's Racine. 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 Correct. Uh, <laughs> Alan says, is it wrong to be 35 and still washing your socks in the sink? <laughs> No. <laughs> we'll be right back, every day. We'll be right back. a very talented and funny man. His new show, Sean Saves the World, is airs Thursdays on NBC. There's a network for you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Take a look at this. The great Sean Yates, everybody. Sean Yates. Oh, 
too tired after that. How was that? Are you all right? What's going oh, on? I'm so thirsty. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, they said... <laughs> they asked come out here with multiple cups. Um, <laughs> I'm a one-cup man. Well, it looks like it. Yeah, no. How are you? You look great. A little damp here. Uh, I know. Uh... No, it's okay. But speaking of uh, in injured hand, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's nice. I feel lucky at the same time. Yeah. So uh, I noticed what happened there. Well, th did you something. notice that? Yes, on the monitor. Backstage. Oh, really? You can see it. Yeah. I'm we we watched back there with those uh, oh. kind of those microphones, those uh, uh, whatever. Were you with uh, Were you with Jerry from room service back there? <laughs> no. I, I boxing. I hurt myself boxing. Ah, uh, nobody cares. What you asked me? No, I know. I you... thought it was like a better story than that. Oh. Boxing. Uh, no, I was attacked by a biting snake. Ah, very good. No, no. On the way to because it was raining in L.A., all the snakes come out of the gutters. <laughs> they don't. They don't. No, they don't. There's... Are there snakes in Los Angeles? Mm, yes, yes, there Somebody are. Said yes. Yes, there are snakes. There are rattlesnakes. If you go up to Griffith Park, you'll you'll meet lots of interesting creatures and snakes. <laughs> Yay! You got a day. Oh, what, what else? What's going on? Nothing, really. What's going on with you? <laughs> you got a new Wait, show. you're going to be... He's going to be on Sean Saves the World. I'm going to be on his show, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not quite familiar with the, uh, the show itself. The Sean Saves the World. Uh, so you're Sean, and there's a meteorite coming towards Earth. That's and right. Is that what's happening? That's exactly right. And really? we've only shot one episode because we all die at the end. <laughs> No, uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> no, uh, it's it's an ironic title, much like the late uh, the late late show with Craig Ferguson. <laughs> um, it's an ironic title. <laughs> there's really I my world consists of uh, home being a new a full time dad to my daughter and right. having a new boss played by the great uh, Tom, Tom Lennon. Lennon. Yes, yes, yeah, you got to be careful with him though. Because any excuse, a pair of shorts, shorty shorts. Wait, shorty shorts and oiled legs. Wait, any, any excuse to what? To wear them. To wear shorts. Yeah, I sure. see. Oh, sometimes, or, or sometimes the accent gets lost in the camera waves. <laughs> Are you playing a straight man in this show? Because <laughs> this is going to work against. No, him. right. Yeah. No, <clears throat> he's gay, gay, gay. All right, so he's. The... No, um, well that's good, and I, I'm yeah. going to play the part of your uh, ex boss, ex -boss. who I actually slept with. Spoiler alert, man. Now they know. Well, you'll, you'll still tune in because it's you. Right? Or, or because it's you. Or, well, or that's why you're on this show and I'm on your show. It's, what, it's the circle of life. Hakuna Matata, man. <laughs> circle of life. Oh, that's nice. Did you ever do Broadway? You did Broadway, didn't you? Big fan? Yes. Yes, yes I did. But, but have you ever... But have you ever <laughs> yeah, I, Who I, will I... buy my sausages? Have you ever done that? <laughs> He needs me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. He needs me. Oh, you know that song, anyway. I don't know that song. No, it's from Oliver. Big. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway. The one I know is. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I yes. just think you know Scottish or British. You all know all those musicals. We don't all know each other, man. <laughs> okay, so. I, uh, I, uh, yes, I had, I was on Broadway for a year with Kristen Chenoweth, who's here, actually. She's oh, under yeah, the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she there? No. She's in my pocket. She's yeah. right. There she is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it looks just like her. No, come on. No, it doesn't. She's she, lovely. What did you do? She's the best. She's hilarious and gorgeous and all yeah. those things. But we did Promises, Promises. It was three years ago on Broadway for a year. Oh, yes. And I actually had stage fright, so, uh, which I'd never experienced before until this show. <laughs> no, um, I had stage fright, and... You know, I'd never sung in public, like, in front of 2,000 people every night, so it was very, it, it, was, it was high anxiety, and uh, when the spotlight's just on you, and you're standing there, so the, the opening number is called Half as Big as Life, and the last note is Half as Big as Life, you know, hold it for, like, 12 bars, right? Right. And so I <laughs> had stage fright, so my throat closed up every night, and so I'd go, Half as Big as Life. <laughs> While the orchestra's still playing, and just a single tear, because I... <laughs> and then I would just go... <sighs> from life, and then I would go off stage thinking, how can I get out of this job?
But I could, did it happen I, every night? It happened. Ev it was the worst. The it, whole every run? Night, no, for, it was a year. It happened for about a month. Right. And then something clicked. I don't know what it was, and I could sing great after that for like eight or nine months. Right. Okay. Did the critics notice at all? Did anyone say? <laughs> no. You know, they only come one night. You know, on opening right. night, and say, I, I got through it. I don't know how. So you managed to do open a night, and then you didn't. So did anyone ask for well, a portion of their money back? <laughs> I, I I would assume. I would assume that was. Gonna, was I came for that. That. Oh. That was about I was here for. And I didn't get it. Yeah. Right. No, but then the last week it came back. The last week I was there, the stage fright came back. So I did a shot of whiskey. I took a Klonopin and like a Xanax. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy, which I do not recommend. No, no, CBS. No, 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 right, no Absolutely. Right. No, but just to, to calm my nerves, right? Anything. I was or like. Or deaden your soul. <laughs> Really? Right. Yeah, right. yeah. Maybe a glass of wine would, you know, calm your nerves. A right. corner pint of whiskey and a Xanax. Right. Ah. And how about this? I was still... So there's this other song called She Likes Basketball. How about that? Right? Mm. And so it's supposed to be like high energy, right? She likes basketball. Like like that. On all the... I can't Right. Oh, stuff. Sorry. Uh, uh, on all this stuff. It's a Scottish word. Right, right. You're a racist, man. <laughs> And all this stuff, and, and the audience was there, and I was so out of my mind. I go, she likes basketball, how about that? It's an omen. And I kept saying like this the whole time. It was awful. I actually was quite drawn in when you did that performance. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a different way to go, that kind of thing. He's nice, guys. It's like you're thinking about killing her. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Right. It's a different way to go. But you lived in New York. Do you live in New York now? Or do you I, live here? No, I lived there for a year then, and on 42nd and Broadway. Uh, the you arm, lived on 42nd the and Broadway? armpit of Manhattan. Uh, but, yeah, I, <laughs> the smell of urine and pretzels I'll really miss. But um, It is quite a savory treat, isn't yes. it? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's, they're hard to find. Not really. No, right, I know. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, uh, and, but I, don't, I don't live there. I live in... Uh, Edelweiss! You mean L.A.? Los Angeles. Yeah, probably. Los Angeles. Not the specific region which we'll bleep out for your and own my, safety. And my address. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, man? Do you want to give us your PIN number while you're here? Are you insane? <laughs> Any passwords you want to share with America? Well, there's probably 10,000 houses there. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. This is the one. Oh, yeah, we're back. Uh, wow. Sean was just giving me his exact address. Darren, you missed it. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever been to Australia? Uh, first of all, I'm not good with loud sounds, so please don't. Okay. Uh, have I, no, I've never been to Australia. I just thought I'd ask. Okay. Have you ever been to Japan? I have not, but I'm going next year. All right. For private reasons. Oh. Well, what are they? Where are you staying? What's the address of where you're staying? <laughs> I'm staying at that hotel in Tokyo. Oh, right. Yeah. I'll meet you there. <laughs> I want to go in one of those hotels where you just go in, in like a little cube. What's that called? Did you go there? That's not a cube. It's not a hotel. <laughs> that's, that's why I want to go. That's a mental institution. A mental institution? <laughs> yes. No. I'll meet you there. No. You go in those little, there's, it's like a little booth, and you go in, and then you lie down, and they give you a little sandwich, and you go to sleep. Don't, no. That's shock treatment. That's, that is shock no, treatment. No, it's not shock treatment. It's a, that's a thing. No, you go into a room. What are you talking about? You go in a room, and you lie down, and they give you finger sandwiches? <laughs> I said sandwiches. You said sandwiches. I said You're a racist, man. <laughs> so you went to Tokyo? What? No. <laughs> You just said, I've ever been, like, you said it like, oh, I've been to Japan. Well, you asked me if I've been to Australia. Well, I have been to Australia. <laughs> okay. Have you been to Century City? Not for a while. Okay, we should go. Well, I don't know if we should. Okay. It's so far, and it's so late at night. <laughs> where else? Where, where, oh, right. I yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is, it's like Disney magic here. But wait, now tell me, where, uh, where haven't you been that you would like to go? Berlin. Okay, you, you, I feel like you're shouting at me. <laughs> Why? I leaned, I leaned back and swallowed some of my air. I went, Berlin. Like <laughs> uh, Berl I've been to Berlin. Ah, oh, did you record? What? Did you know that? I didn't know that, said my segment producer. <laughs> uh, Hang on, I'll, I'll see you. Wait a minute. 
Oh, you tore it up. You tore it up right there. It says. Berlin. <laughs> Have you been to Berlin? I have been. Uh, uh, I did this huge... I'm such a loser. This is too long of a story. We don't have time. Oh, give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're not... No, come on. I, I'm, I've been a jerk. Come we're going to cut it out. No, we're, we're not going to cut it out. Okay. <laughs> Are we? Are we going to have to cut it out? It's really... Okay. I'm a huge fan of the movie Amadeus. When, and, and so me and I my... I that movie. Okay. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. What, what, are you typing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mozart, the typist. Yes, yes. Yeah. Lily, 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 So, uh, and he, uh, uh, and I was obsessed with the, with the movie, so I did this kind of Mozart tour of where they shot all those locations for the movie. Oh. And in the movie, F. Murray Abraham went to the premiere of John Giovanni by Mozart. Is, is people, are people still watching? And, uh, <laughs> and then, so we ended the trip at Prague, in Prague, where, and we sat in the same box where F. Murray Abraham sat, and we saw Don Giovanni in the theater. Wow. Wow. Mozart premiered Don Giovanni. That's, well, why, are you, why are you talking down that story? That's a great story. It's got, it's got everything, including F. Murray Abraham. <laughs> who is very good in Homeland. Have you seen him in Homeland? No. Yeah, he's good. I haven't seen that. Now, uh, you know, I, I wait till, like, I just started watching Breaking Bad. Last person in the sun. No, no, I haven't seen the last eight episodes either. I've, no, I've, I'm like walking around going, la, 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 la. But Game of Thrones, I haven't seen it, but it seems like I'd be into it, but I just can't get past the gate opening in the pilot. I haven't seen that much, actually. I, I, I keep thinking I'm going to watch it, and then... But I, I will watch it. I, I will, too. I will. Let's watch it together in Century City. Or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we're out of time. You told that interminable story about Berlin, and now we're... <laughs> but I didn't even mention Berlin. Berlin, was, to me, is, was beautiful. It was cool to see, like, parts of the wall still up, you know. David Hasselhoff? He was there holding oh, the wall oh, up. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... No, he tore it down. Oh, he tore it down. That, that's right. He was I like, think his voice tore it down. Yeah, that's like... Oh! I think that was probably better than all his albums. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. oh yeah, We're yeah, all yeah, David yeah. Hasselhoff fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we all, alone. We're all fans of his yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, you've got all his albums, you lying jerks. Yeah. <laughs> John Hayes, everybody. We're right here. Very funny comedian, and you know, you like your comedians funny, oh, don't yeah, you? Man. I like my comedians funny. He's very funny. I'm going to talk like this for the rest of the show. <laughs> He's appearing at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick, New Jersey, October the 10th through the 12th. Please welcome Tom Cotter, everybody. Tom Cotter. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very kind. You know, stand-up comedy is a dream job if you happen to be dreaming of poverty. It's good, though. <laughs> I've had some horrible jobs. I was a plant manager for a while. I grew marijuana. And then I was with the FBI for a while, because they caught me. And then I did some time in the automotive industry. I made license plates. This is great, though. I, uh, I don't make a lot of money. It's all right, though. I mean, what, why does my bank spend 45 cents every month on a stamp to tell me I have less than that in my account? <laughs> Visa and MasterCard are nice to me. They call me every week and compliment me. They tell me my balance is outstanding. <laughs> I'm coming into some money soon because I have a loose tooth. And uh, some people worship money. I'm not very spiritual. I, uh, my dad was Catholic, my mom was Rastafarian, and that was weird growing up, because dad would bring home the Christmas tree and mom would smoke it. Uh, it was weird growing up as a Christafarian. Not a normal family. My sister's a stamp collector, food stamps, we love her. She has two little ones, but she's getting breast implants. I have a brother, Seamus. His name's John, but we call him Seamus because that's what he does. And he lives in a gated community. That's what we call it. Everybody else calls it prison, whatever. And prison has changed my brother. He's learned to love Jesus, but I guess the guy pronounces it Jesus, whatever. Not a normal family. Uh, you know, it's all right. I'm an emotional wreck. I'm a physical wreck. I'm physically falling. I pulled my groin this morning. Well, I pull it every morning. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Recommend it. 
I've been irregular lately. Is this too much information? Am I opening up time? <laughs> the other night, first time in my life, I took an overnight laxative. Unbelievable product. Took it at midnight. 7 a.m. had the most incredible movement. <laughs> the tragedy is I didn't wake up till 8 a.m. <laughs> I am no longer welcome in that hotel, I'll tell you that right now. That's another restraining order. I'm a wreck, I haven't been sleeping with anybody. And uh, if you have trouble sleeping, people give you the dumbest advice, don't they? Try counting sheep. Well, I'm originally from West Virginia, so that just kind of gets me aroused. Uh, some people say drink warm milk. Well, who's gonna let me breastfeed, you know what I mean? Seriously, who, anybody? No, that's awkward. Sometimes if I party late at night, I'll get dark circles under my eyes, and the doctor says that's caused by fists. Well, that's not good. I don't understand my body. Why do men have nipples? Nipples that don't work. These are the original milk duds. Why do I have these? And why is this the funny bone? Did you ever bang it and burst into laughter? No, you know why? Because it's not friggin' funny, that's why. They should call it the it's not funny. It hurts like a bitch bone. That's what they should call it. How come old people can't just wear sunglasses like the rest of us? Why do they have to wear those huge virtual reality goggles? Have you seen those? As if Nana's gonna go do some welding, please. Yes, Grandpa, you're the Terminator, right. Let's play laser tag. I have a lot of dumb questions. If, if Pinocchio had a cocaine problem and he lied about it, would that only make it worse? Some of these are time-release jokes. May not be funny, but tomorrow you're gonna pee your pants. Anyway, I, uh, if Chris Rock's wife is spanking him, is she hitting rock bottom? How come racehorses never have to pee like us? Why is it at a bar or a nightclub when a woman sneaks in to use the men's room, it's kind of cute and naughty and fun, but if a guy goes in the woman's room, it's sick and perverted and they smash your camcorder? What is that all about? Why do we ask for a woman's hand in marriage? It's not her hand we want. We've got our own hands. We're sick of hands. That's why we want to get married. Thanks for laughing at me. I, uh, I got that thing. Oh, you got the, uh, the stuff? Yeah, I got the stuff. Yeah. I, ca I called Jerry, he got me that stuff. Oh, good, good. You want to, uh... I got crazy? it right here, yeah. <laughs> so you want it, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, what I was going to do, I actually was going to uh, put the fire up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you, using the seltzer water, I will now prove that this is a real fire and it can be put out with seltzer water. I think it's done and then there's always a little bit left. <laughs>